All right. Good afternoon, brethren. This will be just a spontaneous little reading of the Lord's Word. Quick study. I was reading 1 Timothy 6 a few days ago, and it uh, just struck me what a great chapter that was. So I'd like you to follow along in the Word of God. We'll read it together. 1 Timothy chapter 6. And I'll just give you a little update of what's going on with me. And So, starting here, verse 1. Let's read it together. Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their masters worthy of all honor, that the name of God and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And that they that have believing masters, let them not despise them because they are brethren, but rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. If any man teach otherwise and can consent not to the wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness. He is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh e envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw thyself. 6. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. But they that will be rich fall to temptation and a snare, and to many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which will some coveted after they have erred from the faith, and pierce themselves through with many sorrows. But thou, O man of God, flee these things, and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. I give thee charge in the sight of God, who quickeneth all things, and before Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession, that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable, until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ which in his times he shall shew who is the blessed and only potentant, potentant, forgive me if I mispronounce that word, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who only have immortality dwelling in light, which no man can approach unto, whom no man hath seen nor can see, to whom be honor and power everlasting. Amen. Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. That they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, to avoid profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science, falsely so called, which some professing have err concerning the faith. Grace be with thee. Amen. A lot of meat and milk in that chapter. Please, uh, again, uh, just read it again on your own time. There's so much to be said about it. I haven't prepared any notes, but uh, I really like that chapter. And just uh, hope it's been a blessing to you, brethren, to those that may be watching. So, the only little update is I've been meaning to come around to do a couple studies, but I, just with work and things, I never sincerely prayed about it and made an effort so please forgive me that for those few that may be curious lord willing though i will have a study or two eventually i can't say when but i would like to spend more time in the word and see if god will give me something edifying to share but regardless reading the word alone is very edifying and it's uh, good for the soul good for the spirit so, uh, that said, uh, I do pray and hope to come up with a few studies. I just have to pray about it. My own health, I went through a very, very nasty cold there the other week. Started on a Thursday and pretty well lasted till the following Thursday. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. I haven't had one in three, four years. But, uh, 
just things happen to the body. I will be honest, I used uh, an over-the-counter pharmaceutical, which I'm not proud of, but I just, I need it to work. I have a new job, I labor with my hands, work with my hands mostly. Nothing crazy. I'm not out digging ditches or anything, but I'm laboring and I need the money and it came in handy to a degree. But it reminded me, brethren, that we have to take care of our health, our physical temple that God has given us. And at times I try to, and other times I can be kind of slothful and lazy in that respect. So uh, the cold was quite a wake up call, to say the least. So I did order a couple herbs in case it comes around again or what have you. Uh, some elderberry a tincture. Brethren, you should look into that. Ordered that. Some more uh, medicinal mushroom tinctures. Things that will help feed the immune system, keep it stronger. I haven't been keeping up with my herbs and supplements recently for the most part. So that's one reason I do believe I was a little more susceptible. Regardless, God is good. The sickness has lifted. So praise to Him in His, his name. It's a bit humbling too. You realize about, you know, our flesh is weak. So don't forget that. Anyways, brethren, I could just ramble on to, let's not do that. We'll finish with a psalm. Please turn to Psalms 67. We'll finish that together. I pray you're all well. Psalm 67, turn there. Verse 1. God be merciful unto us, and bless us, and cause his face to shine upon us. Selah. That thy way may be known upon the earth, thy saving health among all the nations. Let the people praise thee, O God, let all the people praise thee. O let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Selah. Let the people praise thee, O God, let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. That's Psalm 67. Anyways, brethren, that's it. Just a little impromptu update. Some reading of the word there. Again, uh, it's uh, winter time now, basically, at least where I'm at in Canada. So uh, just be mindful, brethren, of your own health, physically speaking as well, to look after these things. If you do get sick, just pray about it. See what the Lord will have you to, to do. Even hot soup might help a lot of vitamin C, hot shower, get out some of that phlegm out of your body. It's not the end of the world. So if you get sick this winter, don't stress about it. Relax. Stay in the Word, in prayer. Please pray for me. And if you need any prayers, uh, just leave a little comment. Do my best to remember that. Bye-bye. That's it.